Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. Here we go again. Joe Biden and the Democrats are simply incapable of telling the truth. And once again, we're seeing this as they are accusing Republicans in general, and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in particular, of wanting to cut Social Security, Medicare, and the payment of interest on the federal debt. Now, look at here's Joe Biden yesterday on the budget and the economy. Take a listen. We also want to talk about uh, uh, the extreme Republican economic plans. Uh, apparently, they're generally serious about uh, cutting Social Security, cutting Medicare. And uh, I love their 30 percent sales tax. I have no intention of letting the Republicans wreck our economy, nor does anybody around this table, in my view. Right. That's the economy that has not grown this year and has suffered from uh, the highest inflation rate in 40 years. Whatever. Now, here's some more Democratic blarney after a White House meeting this afternoon. Take a listen to this. We believe in Social Security and Medicare. Extreme America Republicans want to destroy Social Security and Medicare. Do they want to cut Social Security? Do they want to cut Medicare? Do they want to cut veterans' benefits? Do they want to cut police? Do they want to cut food for needy kids? What's your plan? Right. Now, here is exactly what Speaker Kevin McCarthy told me last night on this program. Please listen. They're saying you're going to cut Social Security, you're going to cut Medicare, and you're going to default on the uh, interest payments on the bonds. The, none of that is true. All right. Could he be any clearer? The GOP has no intention of cutting the major entitlements, nor will they ever default on U.S. government debt. You know, the Democrats are playing the big lie game. It's an authoritarian approach. You keep repeating a lie over and over hoping that people will somehow come to believe it's the truth. Communist dictators have used this tactic since time immemorial. And one more point. Biden and the Democrats keep insisting that Republicans are going to double up on a national sales tax. Now, this is the so-called fair tax, which purports to end the income tax and rely solely on a consumption tax. It would be an add-on to state and local sales taxes. Now, look at for uh, many reasons, I've always thought this was not a good idea. Now, here's what Speaker McCarthy said about it last night. See, the White House is yelling, um, the fair tax will put us, impose an, another sales tax on middle class people, and that you, you're in favor of that. No, it, it, all he did was introduce a bill. For a bill to get to the floor, it would have to pass the committee. Right, and he's not in favor of it, okay? The basic point here is the Democrats will do anything, I mean anything, to avoid any spending cuts at all. And they remain in complete denial that in Democrat at Washington, White House, they had White House, Senate, and the House, in the last two years, they passed massive spending legislation, which triggered the worst inflation in 40 years. And even though the Federal Reserve, acting without any help from Democratic fiscal policy, the Fed has brought the inflation rate down somewhat. Consumer prices are still rising at over 6 percent. Grocery prices are still rising at 12 percent. And food away from home, over 8 percent. And Democrats have increased spending and borrowing by somewhere between 5 and $6 trillion, depending on the student loan cancellations and so forth. And the total debt has jumped to over $31 trillion. Now, here's another factoid. Federal spending is now absorbing 24 percent of the economy, almost one quarter. And federal, state, and local government spending is now absorbing 44 percent of the national economy. If that isn't big government socialism, I don't know what is. And remember, these big spending programs carry with them a tremendous web of regulations, including, of course, the Democrats' climate obsession. But also, all of their woke infatuations with diversity and equity and inclusion, it's always in the fine print of these appropriations. This is the central planning, regulatory strangling of what used to be a merit-based, free enterprise-based economy, but no longer. Now, I've talked about the decline in economic growth and prosperity over the last 20-plus years. Our once-envy-of-the-world economy, 
which for over 50 years after World War II grew at better than 3.5% annually, that has stagnated to less than 2%. And I will continue to argue that the single biggest obstacle to growth, the biggest prosperity killer we face, is the massive increase in the size and scope of government and the curtailment of free enterprise incentives. And here are these Democrats with their systemically fraudulent misstatements, unwilling to acknowledge the problem and even permit the most modest of budget reforms to solve it. So let me say again this evening, save America. Stop the spending. All right. Thank you for